Capricorn, this is your reading for the 12th to the 18th, and I hope you're well. We are really into the autumn now. The leaves are changing, and I hope you are enjoying the colours of autumn. I hope you've noticed that uh, there's a couple of videos out there, like the um, Halloween uh, video uh, on how to make pumpkin soup and how to make a pumpkin light and I'm enjoying it and as I said last week I'm really looking forward to Halloween so let's get started with the reading um, I'm using a new deck the Star Tarot I've done a review on it I hope you will enjoy it they're really vibrant first of all we start off with the Three of Pentacles the Three of Pentacles. Isn't that beautiful? It's got all the colours of the chakra. And that's what I find magic about. About these, the artistry on these are beautiful. The Three of Pentacles, of course, means you've got recognition. You're no longer the apprentice. You're fully fledged and talented and qualified to do whatever you want to do or need to do believe in yourself you don't need anybody's recognition you are fantastic the way you are but leave some room for improvement always okay nothing can be a hundred percent so people are noticing you that you are busy trying to do something there could be also there could be somebody recognizing your talents at long last and they m it might be a p p prospective employer so you might be getting a raise or a promotion you might fi finally get the job or you can go for the finally for the job that you want and you will get it because you've got the Sun lying on it and the Sun means promotions going up to the next level this could be at work in career um, or in a love relationship so a friendship could possibly change into a relationship not just a friendship but a good relationship a love relationship this could be with a Leo as the Sun stands for Leo or represents Leo as well you could be going on holiday or you could be moving home recognition is yours because you're in the spotlight big time because it is a spotlight the Sun the moon and the star shine light and it means you're in the spotlight but when you're standing in the spotlight it also means that there might be something an issue or a question at hand might be highlighted and you need some more information but definitely you're getting recognition people are noticing you on Friday you have the ten of swords perhaps people uh, people will be recognizing you but there could be also some jealousy perhaps with somebody and somebody might be gossiping about you behind your back and there could be that there will be an ending to a friendship but the Sun is lying on it in some cases it could be somebody uh, you could be ending a friendship or a friendship could end and that's how I see it and start as a relationship because of the Sun like I said there could be a friend around you and now this friendship is turning into a relationship that is your new beginning because the Sun is also a new beginning and the 10 is an ending and a new beginning so you've got the negative side to this and you've got the positive side to this also in in this card I see a heart with a star so like I said something that you're passionate about might be ending and turning into a career uh, it will no longer be a passion um, you've been carrying a heavy load perhaps and 
that is going to come to a finish. But something is going to change. Um, I feel big transformation and not before I even said that I felt that and I saw this the eggs in the basket or in a nest I'm getting um, something is being born the Sun also represents birth birth of a child or birth of a project something big is going to happen but I also get to hear don't count all your eggs at once or don't put all your eggs in one basket this could be significant to somebody okay keep something for reserve so don't spread yourself too thin either but don't put all your baskets in one egg this could mean that you might have um, two things two jobs going on don't have two relationships going on because it will end up in tears okay be honest be true and be transparent that is how you can maintain the balance the yin and the yang amazing how these cards are working with me beautiful and we've got temperance that is balance as well so you you do have a Leo and you do have Sagittarius here because temperance is Sagittarius make sure you choose the right road I'm, I'm seeing roads here okay so choose the right path don't spread yourself too thin that's also what I'm hearing this is literally what I'm hearing don't spread yourself too thin follow your heart make a decision um, if you're spreading yourself too thinly because you've got so many things going on then choose what you need to do <coughs> excuse me now I'm going to pull clarification cards on this and you've got the star on the three of pentacles your wish is coming true or your goal is coming tr to fruition and it's coming true you could also meet an Aquarian as the star represents Aquarius so that is if you've started something um, you you felt unappreciated you are getting recognition perhaps that was your wish so it's coming to fruition like I said these eggs something is going to be born and fresh start and that is what the Sun means and on the Sun you've got the ten of cups like I said it could be a relate friendship turning into a relationship and slow down that's also what I'm hearing slow down because if you do work all the time or study or whatever and then you don't have time for family or friends so that could make people jealous or angry or irritable and that's how friendships or relationships break but I don't see anything breaking the ten of swords doesn't only mean but uh, stabbing in the back but it means that a, um, a, a, a period of things it is the swords rush 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 is coming to an end anyway for me you've also got a ten here the ten of cups happy families reunions with family and friends coming together like I said your relationship might be coming uh, you might be starting a relationship from a friendship might end and go into a fully fledged relationship beautiful happy union you might be expanding your family because this means birth and this also means ultimate happiness or you might be finding out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions you've got two tens so that becomes one and one so the angels have your back as that is uh, uh, number 11 it looks like an 11 but one and one is two so that means balance and partnering up 
then we have the eight of pentacles on the uh, ten fact you were so busy um, and something is coming to an end and the eight of pentacles means that you want adventure excitement well by these cards at the beginning of the week and the clarification cards it looks like you are having a new beginning but not alone and you will have excitement you'll have ultimate happiness beautiful you are in balance and like I always say with the eight of pentacles you are looking towards the future slow down that's what I also said before I pulled this card pause and think before you take the next step so you can maintain your balance and choose the path that you need to take or want to take so that your goal or dreams or wishes come true like I said the angels have your back you've got rainbows everywhere in three cards and the last card you have um, of the deck is the Hierophant now look at the divine light coming into his head or going out of his head I think you have lots of ideas and you the Hierophant is an advisor he's the head of an institution but you could be uh, this card also represents Aries so fire signs you've got the three fire signs they're prominent okay now the Hierophant is an advisor this could be a professional like a bookkeeper a judge a doctor if you are pregnant you need to go to the gynecologist for example but if you're going to get married because he is the head of the church he, you might be getting married and that is what these three cards are saying this relationship could grow and expand big real big and you might be getting proposed to you this marriage could mean you will be getting married you might need an advi advisor like a lawyer for a prenuptial but you could uh, see also get advice from a father figure or a mature man that you have a lot of respect for wow what a powerful week Capricorn this is really really amazing your one of your wishes is coming true I know you have a lot of wishes everybody has But be content with what you have don't worry too much about backstabbing there could be somebody um, that is um, jealous that could be the person that could be having an eye on you as well because you are such a hard worker and you are getting recognition for your hard work or perhaps in your love life now um, I've got a little card from Anne Ellis and it's an angel card balance and this is the uh, suit of balance and green means to me money healing space go out into nature unnecessary worry avoid all self um, criticism support yourself accept yourself keep going and move forward but do it slowly step by step you know the saying you can't walk before you you can't run before you walk now I'm also including a beautiful card from the TLC uh, for the soul speak it out speak into being in other words sp speak it out speak words of jubilant affirmation into your life definitely you can create happiness through an inner state of mind first practice by repeating to yourself I accept good in every form or I'm well loved well by the looks of the reading you are 
or everything works out for me. In planning your future, start where you find yourself right now. Outer circumstances do not have to define you. Listen to this. Outer circumstances do not have to define you. In other words, don't worry about other people's criticism on you. You don't need anybody to rec give you recognition. You are perfect the way you are. Experiment with how different thoughts affect your well-being. Dismiss words that amplify suffering and misfortune. Cast aside the illusion of fate. The belief that your life is a predetermined Okay, cast aside the illusion of fate, the belief that your life is predetermined. If you do so, you are no longer living in what could have been, but rather you are entering into the possibilities of what you can become. I was just going to say that. You hold the key. You hold the key to your own life. Now, I was saying, talking to you, go outside. Green is healing. Yes, go and sit in the garden or the park and just ponder. Watch what is in... If I, when I want to make a decision, I sometimes go to the sea, to the beach, and I just sit there and listen to the waves. If you can't go to the beach or the sea, then just sit outside and listen to the wind. It's very healing. I hope you've enjoyed this week's reading, Capricorn. Take care and stay safe and be blessed. Ciao, ciao. Please like and share.